Hey, how's it going? Today's drawing lesson is gonna be simple and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never drawn anything in your life, this is the perfect place to be. This is gonna be step by step and it's gonna be short. I try to keep these around the 10 minute mark. All of these are fun, so let's get started and jump right into it. Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over how to draw a Friday Night Funkin' version of Deadpool. I just did a dinosaur version yesterday. Uh, now I'm gonna go over this Friday Night uh, Friday Night Funkin' version. Uh, right now, what I want you to do is I want you to subscribe, click the subscribe button. Uh, basically, if you like drawings like this, I'm gonna be posting them every single day. So they're exciting, they're fun, and like I said, they're easy. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be using this Crayola brand marker. Uh, and let's get started with this Deadpool. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna draw a curve line first, right here, like the C shape, basically with the letter C for the side of the cheek. I'm gonna go up here and pull up, curve down, so it's almost like a gravestone shape. Pulling down, in, <laughs> and I'm gonna pull across over here underneath. So you have the head shape right there for Deadpool. I'm gonna pull down for the body shape, pull out, curve for that kind of tummy shape. Line here for the leg, line here for the other leg. Pulling a line here down for the middle of the body. Line here, line here. All right, I'm gonna go over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down, he's gonna go down his side right here, like a curved shape. That's gonna be for the side of his hand. I'm gonna have his hand out here like so. I'm gonna pull up. Go over here, in, down, in. For the kind of the legs, they look like kind of like dumplings. But they're kind of bigger feet in the same style as Friday Night Funkin'. I'm gonna go over here and draw the hand right here. So what I'm gonna draw is I'm gonna draw one, two, three bumps on one side, pulling out, and I'm gonna draw three bumps on the other side, but a little bit more like triangular shape. It's gonna be floating right there. I'm gonna draw a line here and here. And I'm gonna throw the thumb over here on the side right there. It looks like a peanut shape. So let's draw the microphone in his hand. I'm gonna draw a line here, a line here. Draw a circle the end right there, that microphone shape, curve over here, go down here, and maybe his, we're going to have his arm over here kind of coming in. So let's draw a bit of his outfit. I'm going to go over here and draw the eye. So the eye is going to be like so, kind of like a zero shape. And I'm gonna go over here and draw the other eye. All right. Now, let's draw the circle shapes around that. One right there. One over here. All right. I'm gonna go over here to his arm, draw a line over there for kind of the black area. Pull a line down here, square shaped here, and I'm gonna pull back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw his belt. So it's gonna draw across, draw across again, and I'm gonna draw a circular shape right there with a line through it for the belt. And I'm gonna draw straight lines down for the belt. Go into the feet, and Go to the 
feet area, and I'm going to draw some lines over here because it's kind of black shapes on the feet. Down over here, down over here, continuing to that side of the outfit. So let's go in here and color. Actually, I forgot one thing. His hand is, well, his hand's okay. It's going to be a, nice as a nub there. So now, guess what? It's coloring time, right? Actually, one, I forgot one thing here. Draw a line from the top right there and line over here. So it's gonna kind of come out more like a line there. It's gonna come out more like a mask. So let's go in here and color the black. I'm gonna use the, the Scholastic brand marker, a marker, colored pencil, and I'm gonna be using the Rose Art colored pencil. And uh, just like the other day, I'm gonna use maybe like this one right here, orange for the belt. I'm not sure. Oh no, actually I'll use brown for the belt. But just buy the any colored pencil because we're gonna be doing this mostly flat. So let's start over it already. I'm gonna go over here with the black Scholastic. It doesn't matter what brand you get. I would get the ones just that you get at Target, uh, things like that. The reason I would get those is because they are cheap and otherwise, like I said, they're really inexpensive and they're flat and they work well enough. They're also very rigid. If you get something expensive like Prismacolor, that's more for shading, like subtle shading. Um, see right here, I'm just kind of coloring it flat. If you want subtle shading with Prismacolor, that's one thing, but they're also very brittle and they will break if you, you kind of use them here like this, usually. I'm trying to use a little bit of the side of the pencil. Alrighty. Gonna go over there. Now I'm just gonna call this area black as well. I'm just gonna take care of all the areas that are, are, are pretty much uh, black. All right. Again, just calling it flat. I'm doing it relatively quick because this is a demonstration, but it's not always like that. Um, you know, you can take your time on it and it doesn't really matter which way you do it. You can kind of, just as long as it comes out generally flat enough. And that's the thing I really like about colored pencil. I really like that you can kind of create these flat tones relatively easy. Um, and you can kind of make them darker and darker the more you do that. Sorry if the camera's moving, forgive me. And I can go over here to the uh, microphone. I'm gonna color that not so dark, but as dark as I, dark as it'll, uh, I don't know, it's, it looks appropriate. Right here. All right, it's pretty good. So now I'm gonna do the brown right here of the belt. So I'm gonna use brown, this is a Crayola brand. I'm just gonna do it across here completely. Just kind of, this is relatively easy. It's a little harder because I'm also try to move at your shoulder sometimes because moving at your shoulder can prevent anything like carpal tunnel from showing up. Uh, I'm using this now, the Rose Art brand, and I'm gonna sharpen it a little bit, but I'm gonna color the red, which is basically gonna be the rest of Deadpool's. So, oops, I forgot. There is a little black area right here, black mark that I forgot to do. So I'm gonna do that right now. What's your favorite character, by the way, in the Marvel Universe? Uh, my favorite character in the Marvel Universe is probably Wolverine. I love Wolverine. Uh, but uh, I, Deadpool's up there, too. So I'm going to go over here. And again, I'm going to color it uh, as flat as the rest of it. I think flat works. And you can press down on it pretty hard if you want, like, a darker red. Uh, for this video, like I said, I'm just going to kind of go through it and just get it down generally because I want to, um, actually, let me, let me start with this hand maybe because it's so far left. Um, but like I said, it's fun to do this, right? It's therapeutic. It's like you're coloring your own coloring book. That is literally the way somebody described it to me. And I'm like, wow, that is such a perfect way to do that. You know, that's such a perfect way, right? Coloring your own coloring book is awesome. So, but yeah. And like, like always, you know, you want to make these easy pictures to draw. Easy pictures is always, you know, kind of, kind of the, obviously that's the name of the channel, but that's kind of the motto here. It should be easy pictures, easy pictures to draw. Um, you want to make this super easy for yourself because the reason this is so easy, I'm going to go over here. The reason this is so easy is because it is also incredibly fun to do. And we're just kind of, all we're doing is chilling out, 
and doing this together. Um, let me do the smaller spaces first and then I'll make your, my way up. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera a bit. If there's any other characters, by the way, every single drawing, like I said, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Every single uh, drawing lesson from here on out, I am gonna do color in front of you. I know that's not a common thing. Uh, I know most channels just kind of do the, uh, you know, the, the, like, they do the line art and they're like, it's done, you know, that kind of thing. And then they like digitally put some colors in really quick, but they don't actually color it in front of you. I'm gonna color it in front of you. I'm gonna try to, you know, really make that a thing. If you like that, hit the like. Like hitting the like will let me know that, you know, you like that. And that's, that's gonna be a big deal. I gotta got color, I gotta, I gotta, what do you call it? Sharpen this one more time. All right, almost done. Just kind of pushing it here. Like I said, it's it's like I said, fun to do, but like I said, for demonstration purposes, I wanna you know just kind of keep this relatively. You know, like I said, for 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 demonstration purposes, it's easier just to you know kind of do this uh, like relatively quick and flat. Colors are so fun. I love color, and that is like my thing. done like I said you can go over the colors again maybe even like in a different direction and what you can do is you can actually you know make it more darker and clear you know more clearly red you know but anyways that is pretty much it like I said if you enjoyed the video share it share it anywhere share it on Facebook Twitter uh, Instagram Facebook uh, you know and anywhere um, where you're able to share you know tumblr even I know that's still, that's still around but every time you do that, it helps channel out and it helps me incredibly much. Thank you so much. Um, and you can also catch me on Instagram by the same name, Easy Pictures to Draw. Make this easy, Pictures to Draw. Uh, just kind of remember that. And I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much. Let's see, those are the three colors that I used right there. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. And I'll see you in the comments, by the way. Say hi to me if you got to this point because I love it. Thank you. Talk to you later.